the blade in the shadows. My prey is Yu Dae-yong. I shall walk in the darkness and strike swiftly. No one will stop me in my hunt. Assassin's Creed Chronicles is the newest entry in the Assassin's Creed series, but it might not be what you're expecting. For a start, it isn't one game, but three separate downloadable episodes telling the stories of three new playable assassins. There's Xiao Jun, a Chinese assassin at the dawn of the 16th century, Arbaz Mir, an Indian assassin searching for a powerful jewel in the Sikh Empire of the 19th century, and Nikolai Orolov, an assassin trying to protect the last daughter of the Tsar in post-revolutionary Russia. Each chronicle has its own unique art style, reflecting the era it's set in, from the sweeping Chinese ink strokes of Xiao Jun's chronicle, to the lithographic look of India, to the propaganda art style of Russia, giving each section its own individual feel. Secondly, Assassin's Creed Chronicles takes the series' trademark traversal, stealth and combat and switches it into a 2D perspective. Well, 2.5D, to be specific. It's very important, that extra half D. See? Thanks, Half D. So how does Assassin's Creed gameplay work in 2.5D? Surprisingly well, it turns out. Stealth is still very much the cornerstone of Assassin's Creed Chronicles, but the nature of the game has necessitated a few tweaks to the system. First of all, guards now have extremely visible cones of vision, indicating what they can see. Stray into a cone of vision and it will begin to fill up with red. When it's full, the guard will raise the alarm and you're in trouble. Luckily, there are plenty of ways of avoiding being seen, from hiding behind boxes to hauling yourself up onto ceilings or using the environment to make your way through out of enemy sightlines. You'll need to watch the environment as well to make sure you don't disturb things that could give away your position, such as wind chimes or caged songbirds. Guards who are talking to each other are apparently incredible conversationalists as they won't notice anything in their line of sight, which is something else you can use to your advantage. We have more slaves than we can sell at the moment. I'm sure he'll be pleased. I think he's actually here about the assassins. There are also hiding spots, handy for concealing yourself, as well as the bodies of enemies you've dispatched, as well as the series' ubiquitous haystacks. Safe forever in there. You can dart between close hiding spots, get it right and you can string together fluid combos of hiding place transitions that are nearly as fast as running and completely undetectable. Of course, mess it all up and things are going to get fighty. <laughs> Combat in Chronicles is a fluid system of dodges, parries, heavy and light blows, and horrifying sliding crotch slices, taught to you in training sequences by a familiar looking old Italian guy. As you slide past an enemy, use your sword to deliver a killing blow. Wondered what he was up to. Combat is generally a last resort, however, thanks to the stealth and Xiao Jun's impressive collection of gadgets, which includes rope darts and throwing knives, distracting firecrackers and noisemakers, and her hidden blade, which she keeps concealed in her shoe for deadly neck kicks brings new meaning to the phrase killer heels. The series' trademark leaps of faith also make an appearance and synchronizing causes enemies and hidden items to appear on your minimap. As you make your way through the level's various sections, you're given a ranking in one of three different categories depending on your playstyle – Assassin, Shadow or Brawler. High rankings means more points, and points get you upgrades such as the ability to expand the range of your eagle vision or increase the stun duration of your firecrackers. Some levels just require you to complete them as quickly as possible, and here the game becomes almost a 2.5D endless runner as you sprint to avoid some terrible calamity like the dock fire scene here that I almost certainly started. My bad, you guys. In short, Assassin's Creed Chronicles is exactly what you'd expect a 2D Assassin's Creed to be, with the series' stealth, platforming and combat all surviving the loss of half a dimension more or less intact. It brings to mind the excellent Mark of the Ninja or a stealthier Shadow Complex, but still retains the dubious history and gleefully epic story of a full Assassin's Creed game, as well as the satisfying end-of-level assassinations complete with well-earned gloating. Zhang Yong will come for the box. He will avenge our deaths. I am counting on it. That'll learn you, Yu De Yong. Episode 1 of Assassin's Creed Chronicles, China, which you've been seeing in this video, releases on Xbox One, PS4 and PC on April the 21st in the US and on April the 22nd in Europe. The further episodes, India and Russia, are set to release later this year. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time on Outside Xbox. Bye!